Which cartoon character had the best character development and why? Some of the original Magic School Bus kids were pretty well developed. The reason Carlos is a joker is because he doesn't get as much attention at home because of his paraplegic brother. Keisha is more mature because she's being raised by her grandma. Which leaves to wonder why her parents are absent, dead, missionaries, dead beats? Phoebe's father is blind which lead her to be an activist and always looking to help others. Wanda's mom and a herpetologist and an all-around badass. With that, and trying to be an awesome big sister to her baby brother. Wanda herself is quite the tomboy and badass. And so on. Rigby from regular show. He goes from lazy fuck that doesn't care about anything to a great guy that truly does care about his friends. In. Ben 10. Alien Force. Ben really took the position as leader of the group serious. And every bad thing that happened. He blamed himself. This is a nice contrast to his old self in original Ben 10. In which he was just a cocky. Hot-headed. Ten-year-old boy who was just still learning about his powers. Ice King. Started as the stereotypical. Bad guy. And ended up being the hero. Enzo Matrix from Reboot. Ish got real when mainframe got opened up to the web. Aside from the gong and avatar. I'm going to say hiccup from how to train your dragon. He went from this unconfident little kid who was struggling to find his place in society to a brilliant leader who forged his own path. The character arcs in Samurai Champloo are very well written. They each grow into people they wouldn't have been if they hadn't teamed up. Currently re-watching Lilo and Stitch and I wanna toss in Stitch. Sure he became more of a mascot to sell toys. But the movie does a great job showcasing his change from a being solely bent on destruction to an essential part of Lilo and Nani's family. Edit. God damn it just got to the part where he realizes that he is the cause of the destruction of Lilo and Nani's family and he leaves. Son of a bitch why am I more sentimental now than when I was a child? Philip J. Fry. Faye Valentine. If your heart didn't shatter into a million pieces for her during the VHS tape scene or the stick-drawn bed or when she's pleading with Spike not to leave, then I don't know what to say. Both Woody and Buzz from Toy Story. Especially the first one. Woody goes from being Andy's favorite to playing second fiddle early on. And has a really big shock to his system. Then he goes on a redemption arc where he gets rid of his jealousy. Buzz goes from believing he's the real Buzz Lightyear. To having reality crash down on him. And then overcomes his depression when he finds his new purpose, to bring kids joy. Over the garden wall had so many amazing character developments. And lots of twists and turns. Flynn Rider Entangled. Pacifica Northwest from Gravity Falls. Started off as a snobby rich girl before mellowing R and almost stopping the apocalypse. All the characters from As Told by Ginger, they probably had the most realistic growth seen in a kid's cartoon. Plus they changed clothes daily and sometimes repeated parts of outfits. Which was a nice touch. I really love Simba. Goes from a spoiled kid to wanting to be brave to impress his dad to experiencing unbelievable trauma and guilt to repressing it all as a carefree young adult to finally accepting his destiny as king. But even when he goes back to fight Scar, he isn't willing to really break free of his guilt until Scar reveals that he killed Mufasa. Pops from regular show. He seems like an old goofball. But, spoiler for show that ended years ago, he ends up giving his life to save the universe. Raven from Teen Titans. She grew up thinking that destiny was an unchangeable reality. Succumbing to the threats of her father. And living a life full of anxiety and isolation because of her fears. Before dying, she had the hope that she was wrong about everything and gave each of her friends a portion of her soul to survive the brought forth apocalypse. Granting them the chance they needed to survive and fight a bit longer. After all was said and done. And after it had cost her her very own life. She finally understood that her destiny was what she chose for it to be and not what others told her it was. Though she failed the first time, she was given a second chance to change it all and took it. Having grown from that experience, she came back stronger, more balanced, and more trusting in those who loved her, chose who truly was her family and ended up saving her world from her father. Truly a great metaphor for life's choices, free will, and the dooming feeling of a predestined life, a great arc for a great character. Edit. For those asking, Raven sacrifices herself in the first episode of the three-part finale to season 4 called The End The Elric Brothers from Full Metal Alchemist Edit Spelling It's been a while since watching it 
I have watched both FMA and FMA be both good in their own way, but Brotherhood followed much much closer to the source material. Also edit. I understand that the brothers don't change very much throughout the series. But their story develops significantly. Is fleshed out. With a rich history. Backstory. And through the way we see them interact with other characters. I would argue this is where we observe change in the brothers. In the maturation of their relationships. Both with Lieutenant. Armstrong and their childhood trainer, Guardian are good examples. Our knowledge, perception of what exactly has transpired changes significantly through the series development. Vegeta. He went from a villain to reluctant hero, rival to Goku to husband and father. Then he had his redemption in the Buu Saga. Diane Nguyen from Bojack Horseman. I like how she came to terms with herself despite starting out with a false sense of self. Eva from Wally. -E. Damn when she tried to wake up. Dead. Wally -E broke my heart. Grunkle Stan from Gravity Falls. That whole show had great characters but Stan had the most interesting ups and downs. I feel like Hank Hill really grew throughout the series. It's really a show about the father-son relationship. And you get to see how his relationship with Cotton affected him. He doesn't full understand Bobby. But I think his motivation in trying to comes from not wanting to be like Cotton. Megamind. Kalua from Hunter x Hunter. Considering his background and his attitude in the first arc. And how much he changes into as the series goes on. From child assassin who gleefully murders to perhaps an empathetic and loving friend. Ice King from Adventure Time. Kuzco from Emperor's New Groove. Spoiled brat with everything. To spoiled brat with nothing. To less spoiled brat learning about teamwork. To fairly normal. Person. To getting everything back but not being spoiled anymore. But rather respectable. That scene where he saved Pacha's life and was celebrating was a true turning point. He realized he could get a great feeling by doing good rather than just fulfilling his own desires. Also a good lesson for the target audience. Edit. Spelling. Excluding Zuko. As that's a given. Ta from A. TLA has one of my favorite developments of all time, and it's extremely subtle. Her arc revolves around two things. Accepting who she is even with her insecurities. And accepting the love she gets from the gong. She hides a lot of herself behind a tough persona early on, especially in the episode Bitter Work where she uses a very tough love approach to teach Aang earthbending. But in scenes such as her story in Tales of Ba Sing Se and her conversation with Iroh, we see her start to accept herself for who she is and she opens up more and more throughout the series. It's overshadowed by bigger character developments like Zuko's and Sokka's unfortunately. Edit. Who gave me the Ignite Award on a post about a character that gets her feet burned at one point? You heartless monster. Carl from Up. I'm still mind blown that Pixar was able to create such a compelling story that addressed grief and loss, the realization childhood dreams, being a father figure, and the search for meaning in life all into one animated movie. Edit. Wow. First gold. Thank you kind stranger. How have I not seen any top answers as Gara? My dude goes from being a bloodthirsty murdering psychopath to K's cage and the purest guy in his village. Edit. Wrong cage. Ashoka Tano from Clone Wars. What a great series. Zuko and Katara from Atla. Though Zuko has very well-known character arc. Katara grows so much throughout the show. She meets the guy who killed her mother. She learnt bloodbending and so many more experiences. She grows from a mere child to a strong young woman. It is very interesting to watch so many characters grow in the same show throughout the story. Philip. J. Fry from Futurama. I know it's a comedy show. But the most heartbreaking moments involve Fry and just how much he means to everyone or how much he does to help. I am only just realizing his growth as a character as I grow older too. A down in the dumps. Not so smart pizza delivery boy who is catapulted into a new life and what does he do? Forgives his brother and appreciates his nephew. Is best friends and roommates with a robot who has almost as many problems as he does. Was the first kind person to Leela and was ready to die for her on multiple occasions. Saved the professor from humiliation. Saves universe more than once and comforts his mother just by dream hugging her. Secretly knowing that's what they both needed. Fry deserves more love and appreciation. Edit. Thank you everyone for the awards and replies I wrote this at 1am and had a good dopamine boost from all the up votes and replies L. My first silver award was from a comment on do all these awards feel like they come from the right place and right time. Maybe it'll go buy some poplars bam. Marceline from Adventure Time. Edit. Reducing font. Not sure what happened, but apparently people were offended. Edit 2. 
making it big again, because, Dr. Doofenshmirtz used the E-M-B-I-G-G-E-N-A-T-O-R. You could argue Harley Quinn was and is the most developed character from Batman the animated series. As her arc survived what in reality was to be the bimbo sidekick just for that animated run, her character morphed into a longer set of stories in later comics, further animated series, and full-length feature films. That has gone on just shy of 30 years. Sokka from Atla. He is underrated and often overshadowed by Zuko, partly because his character is often used for comedic relief. However his development from a sexist alpha male mentality kid to a true leader is great to look at and something a lot of viewers could actually relate to more than to Zuko. Ashoka Tano in The Clone Wars. She started as an annoying little shit for a while but as time went on she became a character that so many people love and now after the last few episodes of Clone Wars she's one of if not the cooled Clone Wars characters and is now probably getting a part in Mondo. Absolute beast now.